Welcome to Phil Hoffman Travel. It's Cruise Week and we've got some great seminars both online and also in store. So please join me, Krista Kinnear, for our fabulous online seminars. Welcome to Phil Hoffman Travel, Cruising Europe, focusing on the Mediterranean. My name is Krista and I take great pleasure in walking you through our webinar. Why choose to cruise? Cruising is such a wonderful way to embrace unique, popular and new locations every day whilst unpacking and enjoying your entire holiday. It's great value for money for the whole family and you have an opportunity to taste amazing world cuisine in multiple dining options. Philhoff and Travel have hosted cruising, which I'll be talking about further during our presentation, but it means we have a dedicated host on board the cruise. All your meals and entertainment are included, as are the enrich enrichment activities, and prior to you going, we have get-togethers and then reunions when you return. Why Phil Hoffman Travel Cruise hosted cruises? These are fantastic packages with flexible airfares, some very exclusive bonuses. As we mentioned, our fabulous social host. We have Phil Hoffman Travel dedicated shore excursions on selected departures. We have a fabulous pre-departure book and again, our meet and mingles before you go. Which cabin is right for you? Let's have a look at some of the different options. If price is important to you or value, certainly the inside cabins represent amazing value and they are fabulous for the shorter cruises. But in my opinion, if you're looking at traveling anything over seven days, perhaps treat yourself to an ocean view cabin. And I might add these ocean view cabins come in different categories. We have the ones as you can see at the moment and there are also cabins that have a full um, to the floor window. Of course, the ultimate is a balcony cabin if you can extend yourself to that. They are fantastic. Just picture yourself sailing into the Santorini, having breakfast out on your balcony. And then we have some exclusive suites available for you as well. Bon voyage, just so that you have everything that you need before you embark on your amazing holidays. Our meat and mingles have become very, very popular. We have some great wine and cheeses. You have an opportunity to meet your cruise host and your fabulous, uh, your fellow travelers. And you also learn about your cruise, our great hints and tips, restaurants, what to do, what to wear and so forth, giving you that ultimate package. Cocktail parties, we do have these on board, um, especially for Phil Hoffman Travel Group. I think we're the envy of some of the other cruise passengers. A lovely way to get to meet your fellow travellers or just enjoy the ambience from the crow's nest in some of the ships. And um, as I said, something very special to kick off your journey. Now, if you are looking at the packages and you don't want to be part of a group travel, take advantage of the special fly cruise packages, but no worries, you're absolutely free to explore on your own and do your own thing. So you can just use this as a building block for your final holiday. When you do travel on one of the hosted cruises, just like Judy Maluski, we give you a card and that will indicate what cabin your host is in, their emergency telephone contact details and where you'll find them located on the cruise ships and the times. So should you need them, um, fabulous go-to person and if not, very nice to have a chat or have dinner together or just reiterate some of the details that you may have forgotten. Let's have a look at the itineraries. So many places to cruise in the Mediterranean. The Mediterranean really stretches from Barcelona through to Istanbul and can be divided up the Western Med from Barcelona to Rome and the Eastern Mediterranean generally from Rome to Istanbul. But you'll see from our packages coming up that our Grand Mediterranean takes in all of those beautiful uh, ports of call. So let's start in Santorini, certainly one of my highlights 
as you cruise through this beautiful area and suddenly come upon this island that looks like it's coated with ice cream on the top or a, a, a fondant dressing. It is just superb, so have a, um, a look at Santorini if that is on your itinerary or on your bucket list. Barcelona, quite often the starting point of a lot of the cruises or the finishing point. And if you are doing uh, that type of itinerary, please spoil yourself and have an extra couple of nights. There is so much to do in Barcelona. Featured here are some of Gaudi's amazing infrastructure and La Sucaradia Familia. Not shown here, but available day tours out to Montserrat or perhaps even just wander down Los Ramblas, which is the mall, experiencing the locals, the food, the fabulous tapas. Maybe have a little sangria as you enjoy everything that Spain has to offer. Then another very popular port is Rome, with all its history, with the amazing Colosseum, St Peter's Cathedral. Again, if you're stopping or starting, have an extra couple of days if you haven't been here before or if this is part of the port itinerary the port might be Civita Vecchia and I'd urge you on this day to take a shore excursion because the, the port is some distance up to an hour and a half to two hours away and it is best to do that with a shipping company. Um, always safer. The worst photo you'll ever get is your ship sailing into the sunset without you on it. One of the most popular itineraries um, or the ports of call is Dubrovnik, this beautiful little walled city on the coastline of Croatia is very welcoming. They experienced some war in years gone by and so they absolutely embrace tourism. There is a wall, as I mentioned, around the city and you can climb through steps up to that wall. It is really interesting to walk around the top and have a look into the daily activities of the people below you or out to the oceans filled with lots of sailing boats and, and boats travelling by. Very lovely day to be had in Dubrovnik. Some other amazing ports here. You can see Ephesus if your cruise port is Kusadasi and this is a picture of the old library. So many excavations going on here that the shore excursion would take you to the top of the excavations and you would then gently, gently meander uh, back down to where the bus will meet you. In Athens, so many things to see, so perhaps either do the hop on, hop off bus or take one of the shore excursions there. Monte Carlo, this is another favourite. Monte Carlo, on the left you'll see the casino. Amazing that you should pay money to lose money or perhaps win your fortune, but it is a beautiful heritage building. And if you walk just inside before the payment booths, you can have a look at this stunning, stunning building. Just adjacent to this uh, casino, there's a great restaurant and I love to sit there with a glass of wine or a coffee and watch all the crazy cars, the gold Rolls Royce or the Ferraris uh, pulling up with the who's who of Monte Carlo. And on the right you'll see some, some of the magnificent yachts that are, are there. Now just above Monte Carlo, accessible by a lift, kind of crazy to explain, is a rock and that rock is the, the place or the municipality of Monaco. So in one day you can be at Monte Carlo and up at Monaco, have a look at the palace there in the old city, or perhaps take a Ferrari ride around the Grand Prix track, or even go back down to Nice and the beautiful coastline along the, uh, that stretch of area. Absolutely stunning. Florence is another very, very pretty city. It is inland, so on this day the port would be Livorno and I would definitely look at doing a transfer or a shore excursion with a ship. You can take the train, but it is so much easier uh, when they, the uh, cruise companies put you right at Florence. You can see the beautiful Duomo, so many things to see, the museum that houses the world-famous Statue of David, and ladies, there's shopping here, fabulous leather, fabulous jewellery to be had on the bridge that goes across the river. 
This is a lovely, lovely little town, much smaller than I imagined, so very easy to get around the beautiful city of Florence. If you have been to Florence before or would just like to do something a bit different, here's a shot of the Cinque Terre. The Cinque Terre is five terraces and you would do this by a ship shore excursion, makes it so easy. The cruise um, people would arrange the coach to pick you up from the ship, take you along to the first village where you have time and you learn the history of the Cinque Terre. They then walk you down to the ferry, so you must be able to walk reasonably. They put you on the ferry with your guide and you would then go up along the coastline, which is stunning. The ferry calls in at the five different uh, villages and it stops at Monterosso. Monterosso is the place you disembark, you've got time for a lovely lunch or some shopping or just looking around, perhaps a dip in the ocean, before you board the train back to La Spezia where your coach is waiting to transfer you to the ship. This was such a highlight for me when I did this journey that I ended up going back and spending some time in my holidays at the Cinque Terre. Catacalon, on the other hand, very lazy, easy day to be had here. This is a little Greek island with a lot of Turkish background as well. I found uh, this is the, the birthplace of the Olympics, so Olympiad being the place to visit. You can just jump in a taxi or take the ship tour out there. Or what I love to do is go for a wander down the street and take a very corny little train that takes you around the island stopping at a winery and then a spectacular beach. So what a beautiful day. And you can see the ship is parked right in town. Kotor, if this is on your itinerary, be prepared for a lovely sail into this gorgeous little town, very similar to Dubrovnik and um, based in Montenegro. Some sailing through lovely fjordland like areas. Then we have Naples, and Naples of course would be the place that you would perhaps visit Pompeii if you were doing that. Look at the tour that takes in Sorrento, so you do have an opportunity to see part of the beautiful Amalfi Coast. Perhaps you don't want to do that, you can just jump on a ferry, go to Positano, or take the ferry across to the Isle of Capri. Either way, a fabulous day spent in Naples. Who wouldn't love to cruise down the Grand Canal and right into Venice? And I know on our Magic of the Mediterranean itineraries, the cruise ship actually stays in overnight in Venice. So it really does give you opportunities to explore the beautiful San Marco or St. Mark's Square with the Dogue's Palace, a must-see, with the beautiful cathedral, the shots with the pigeons, um, and, and just the ambience of being in that square, all the little shops surrounding and the restaurants as well. Or perhaps take one of the local ferries and visit the little islands of Morano or Barano or Torcello, all making for a fantastic voyage or stop at Venice. Istanbul was a bit of a surprise to me. It's where East meets West. And when you're cruising towards Istanbul, down the Dardanelles, you can actually see where Anzac Cove is located. So that can be quite emotional because the passage is quite narrow. When you do arrive in Istanbul, so much to see that a lot of the cruise ships actually stay in overnight. And that would give you opportunities to visit the spice markets, perhaps have a little cruise on one of the ferries down the Bosphorus, where you've got Asia on one side and Europe on the other. I know, ladies, you're thinking the Grand Bazaar um, and the beautiful Blue Mosque as well and the Top Cappy Palace, which is just fantastic. If your cruise stops or starts in Istanbul, please give yourself a couple of days extra to maybe visit Anzac Cove by road, which you wouldn't have time to do if the ship was just there for a day. Uh, because of the timing but if you stop or start make sure that you do give yourself an extra couple of days at this surprising destination. Mykonos another beautiful little island picture yourself sitting in these chairs perhaps ordering a carafe of local wine salt and pepper squid a Greek salad 
all for less than 10 euros and just taking in the sunshine and this beautiful views. Greek music playing behind, a very nice way just to wander around Mykonos. Now we haven't shown you all the ports of call, otherwise this would be a three hour presentation. But let's have a look at some, some of the cruise packages that travel through the Mediterranean. This is such a popular itinerary, the magic of the Mediterranean, cruising in 2016 at 2015 prices. Cruises depart early from April through to May and then the, the summer months of June, July, August and then we also have the special at the other end of the spectrum, 15th of September, when it's not quite as warm or as crowded. 24 night fly cruise packages starting from 6490 per person twin share. That's right, that does include your flights. So what amazing value. That is based on the low season and also based on an inside cabin. So if you speak to our consultants, we can guide you what is the best time for you to travel and what cabin's right for you as well. You can also use this as a building block for an entire European itinerary. You don't just have to go with the cruise. You can actually go across and visit friends perhaps in Europe and then come back um, and join the cruise in Barcelona. The airfare may change slightly, but um, what a beautiful building block that you have with that great cruise fly package. Here's another fantastic itinerary. This is on the brand new ship for Holland America, the Koenigs Dam. We have two departures featured, 15th of April and the 30th of September, both 24 night fly cruise package again from 6499. But have a look, this time the cruise starts and stops in Rome and heads out to the eastern Mediterranean, Istanbul, this time taking in Crete and Rhodes, Athens, and then she comes back to Rome and heads across to the west to include Barcelona and the beautiful, beautiful city of Cadiz, uh, or the port of Cadiz, and a must-see is Seville. Also a surprise there, Gibraltar. I have just cruised through this area and I have to say I was really, really surprised and impressed. Love that Spanish coastline, absolutely fantastic. And also taking in Palermo in Sicily. And did I mention the brand new ship? Wow, I think a lot of people will look at this itinerary just to get on board this great cruise. And if you take this cruise and on the 9th of May, you would leave Rome go around that Iberian coast, travel up to Lisbon and Porto. And I loved Porto, I have to say. It's nestled on the banks of the Douro River, which is um, a getaway area now for the, some of the river cruise vessels heading up to that beautiful wine country. Then we have La Coruna, then heading up to Bruges and then Rotterdam before the cruise finishes in Amsterdam, but we've packaged it up with a wonderful itinerary to Norway as well. If you're on this particular cruise, you've got an amazing event that happens in Rotterdam. That's the head office or the base for Holland America Cruises. And on this special cruise, we will have the christening of the cruise ship. If you've never seen it before, or if you've never experienced it, then I would urge you to book on this very quickly so you don't miss out, because it is a fantastic event. And always, who will be the godparent? It's usually some royalty or somebody very important. So a fabulous cruise there in May on the new ship, the Koenigsdam. Now, I just put this itinerary in because if you like and you want to combine a whole beautiful itinerary, this is one um, after Amsterdam where she goes up to Norway, but then up into the Baltic region the, of St. Petersburg, Stockholm, Helsinki and Copenhagen, and also the stop for Manamunda. So we could make this a really delightful, extraordinary itinerary for you. Heading back, we do take care of um, all cruise companies and we're just showcasing a few of these at the moment. Celebrity Cruises also have their beautiful vessels. We have a brochure on Celebrity, we have a brochure on 
our Princess Cruise collections, but we also look after Ponant, Silver Seas, Cunard, uh, Seaborne Cruises, all travelling through the Mediterranean. So we will find the right ship for you. Perhaps you like smaller ships, in which case Oceana or Azamara might be your style as well. These are just a small selections. This particular one um, starts in uh, stops and starts in Rome. So lovely itineraries, the 16th of May, the 19th. You can see there Naples, Mykonos, Santorini. Not quite as long. So if you haven't got your 24 night times, then perhaps package this up with some other uh, destinations in Europe. So 11 night fly cruise from 4460 and we're going to kick start that with $75 on board credit spending money. Here's another itinerary and I do love this itinerary because it does start in Barcelona and conclude in Istanbul. It's a lovely way to uh, perhaps visit somewhere else then enjoy a couple of days in Barcelona and then you're cruising right through that one direction couple of days in Istanbul before you fly home. A great price there, 14 night fly cruise package with some onboard credits and that takes place in July 2016. Also with celebrity cruises, some people ask us, we, would, we don't know whether we'd like to do a river cruise or an ocean cruise. This cruise stops and starts in Amsterdam, so perhaps you could do a river cruise and then package it together from Amsterdam heading up to that Baltic region. So use the fly cruise package, add on either a 7 or 14 night itinerary on the river cruises would make this something quite unique as well. Then we have um, the Spanish coast. So again, celebrity cruises. Leaving on the 20th of September, 13 night fly cruise package taking in Palma de Mallorca and heading right round to Lisbon, this beautiful Iberian coast itinerary. Now, if you like uh, to spend 21 nights and you really want to have a close up look, the absolutely gorgeous Royal Princess, she will be starting in Barcelona and finishing in Rome and look at all those magnificent ports there. So this 21 night cruise on this spectacular ship is the 3rd of September next year, starts off at 6989 and I've got a shot of the Regal Princess. This is just an amazing ship. I have been very lucky to have some time on the Royal Princess. 16 stories above the ocean they have a glass skywalk and indeed a bar that sits out over the ocean quite spectacular and something different and you can just see the fountains the dancing fountains up on this beautiful magnificent pool deck this shows you the regal princess but the royal princess was the itinerary i just showed you now, maybe you'd like to cruise home. So if you don't like flying that much, fly over to England, have a time with family or just to join the cruise. And you're cruising this time from Southampton, again in September, 28th of September, through the Mediterranean, Rome, Naples, Messina, then cruising through the Suez Canal, taking in Jordan, and Egypt and Aqaba, absolutely fantastic. We have an overnight in Dubai, so you can really have a good look at Dubai, or you can get off in Dubai, or you can join in Dubai, but I would suggest cruising all the way home. From Dubai, we take in Cochin in India, and then we head through Asia, Bangkok, Koh Samui, Singapore, Bali, the beautiful Margaret River region, before arriving in Melbourne. The package that we're offering, two nights in London, 46 nights on the beautiful Emerald Princess, and then we'll fly from Melbourne to Adelaide as well, priced from 98, sorry, 9989. That is becoming very popular. So if you like the longer voyages, don't miss out on that one. Now that's just a small showcase. I just want to show you some of the booking bonuses 
some of them are too hot to print so we have our cruise week bonuses we have our special hosted departure bonuses and because it's celebrating Phil Hoffman 25 years in business we have amazing deals for the whole month of September so contact one of our consultants send us an email or just um, come into one of our 10 stores looking at the Holland America bonuses we're giving you a hundred dollar beverage card a pinnacle grill dinner for two our exclusive cocktail party on board and we send you off to the airport in a special limousine and give you our port notes celebrity cruise lines similar onboard credits we include gratuities here we have our pre-departure night and again our transfer to the airport princess cruises we've got some spending credits on board pre-departure wine and cheese nights home to airport transfers just to mention a few when we talk about our hosted cruises and we have our cruise host on boards to help you to join you for dinners to make your whole cruise seamless and enjoyable you don't pay one extra cent for that and here's another example of a fully escorted journey from our with our lovely Joe McLaren in September next year we've included a tour of Greece mainland on this departure so seven nights first class accommodation with great touring followed by a seven night leisurely cruise um, to just complete this ultimate Greece experience call in to get a brochure or ring to get a brochure and get all the details on this fantastic package I'm very lucky to co-host with Phil Hoffman um, and Alison Hoffman um, an amazing journey on Azamara Quest. This is a gorgeous itinerary, places that I haven't even seen before and it heads off on the 20th of April. I think I may have said Azamara Quest but it is Azamara Journey. It's 30,000 tonnes so very small ship. We were lucky to have this charter this year and it cruised through different small unique ports that the big cruise ships are envious that they can't get in. In this case we are cruising from Nice to Saint-Tropez, 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 I haven't heard of these but wow what an opportunity to visit. Ibiza, Albia in Corsica. We cruise the Amalfi Coast, which is where Phil Hoffman will join us. My gorgeous little town of Positano on the Amalfi Coast, heading through La Goulette, Valletta, Limassol, Hydra Island, Dubrovnik, Korchula, and finishing in Venice. And we have a very special deal. We've got the full drinks package, so wine with lunch and dinner, or perhaps you'd like a, a scotch or a brandy in the evening. So what a fabulous itinerary this is. 34 nights, 20th of April 2016. Have a look at that itinerary and have a look at those amazing, amazing ports. It does feature here La, La Goulette in Tunisia, but that has been taken off this cruise, so we'll be looking for somewhere very special. I think that's already um, been adjusted into the itinerary. So please come and join me and Phil and Alison for this fabulous, fabulous journey from Nice, concluding in Venice. Here's a shot of the Esplanade along Nice. The ship parks just around the corner because she can. She's a beautiful little vessel and you can just wander into the town um, or perhaps visit Ez, a lovely little um, mountain village just nearby. This is where we stop in Amalfi, which will give you an opportunity to visit Pompeii um, and also to um, Positive as I mentioned so many different ports but here we again finish in Venice so you will sail right down the Grand Canal on this itinerary. We look forward to helping you at Phil Hoffman Travel we have got the 10 offices Glenelg, Adelaide right up to the Barossa and right down south to Victor Harbour. Have a look at our website 
be aware that we've been in business for 25 years. We've won many accolades. We have some sensational opportunities. If you have corporate or business travelers, we can assist you with those. We've got a 24 seven emergency number where one of our staff will take your call. So kind of traveling with you and not going to a call center. Everything that we can put together and assist you with to make your holiday the very special holiday it should be. Thank you for joining me on this small voyage through the Mediterranean. And we will have another chapter taking in the Baltics and the Baltics and beyond up to Iceland and across to New York. So look for that second chapter. Thank you for joining me. I hope to see you on the ocean.